Oh, that was fucking annoying. You know, you feel stupid as fuck when you're talking to yourself for a while. Next thing you know, like the software, your OBS is not working. <laughs> Shit. I mean, I'm not into vlogging, but since I'm stuck in my room most of the damn time, I figured every now and then maybe I could just share a little bit more about myself and what I'm going through as an editor or, you know, just random shit here and there. So something I've been using is uh, a second keyboard that I learned how to like set up, you know, uh, thanks to uh, Taryn. He did a video showing you how to set up a second keyboard so you can create macros and all that shit. And like, uh, this thing has been working great for me. However, fortunately, lately, Windows has been doing a lot of updates, like almost every other week. And like, I've been having nothing but problems with this guy, you know, and, it's, and that's unfortunate because I like using this. As you can see, pretty much like uh, all these keys that have the white paper on it, they basically my own customized macros, right? The main thing that I use these macros for is for numerical values, right? So if I want to increase or decrease the um, audio levels, I have a macro for that. Uh, since I since Paul uses a lot of time lapse uh, in his videos, you know, I have these set up up here for like different like like percentage values to increase like the the speed of the footage, you know, from 2,000, 1,000, you know, down to 100 percent or in, everything in between, right? You know, and also some of these are for like the sound effects and just other inserts that I do use, right? Now I have been using this and it's been great, and, you know, it has been helpful. However, the problem is, like I said, pretty much now uh, with the window updates I've been having lately, like uh, the commands won't work. There's software, the intercept that it, it separates this keyboard from like my other main keyboard now the problem with it is that if i push one of these macros then like the command stays in a loop and it just repeats itself and it causes like a fucking mess and like ugh. i don't know i just i reached a point i'm thinking i'm gonna like not use this anymore which is unfortunate but the thing is maybe not everybody's having that problem maybe just something that i'm just you know experiencing myself what i decided to do is i'm gonna start using my logitech pro a little bit more the Logitech is offline right now. Usually you can see the lights light up, but like the cool thing with like the Logitech G13 is that basically you have three memory settings. So like for each application, you are able to have three different sets of macros. So here, memory one, all these are have a different layout for whatever I need them to be. Memory two, I got a different layout for whatever. And I got memory three clean that I'm going to start using right more often. So it is cool. I'm probably going to go with that because like uh, I am one that I'm constantly changing my macros and commands and all this shit. So using this uh, will probably be easier to update. Whereas if I was to like use the, um, if I wanted to use pretty much the second keyboard, have I been using it and using intercept, and then you pretty much have to like run a, you have to run a script and you have to edit the script, you know, you have to like find the key that you want and then like you know, just type everything out and stuff like that. And like I said, it's been working out fine for me, but yeah, like I said, the fucking Windows updates has fucked it up and I just don't want to mess with that right now. So I think my main problem is like I'm constantly changing my fucking key, my shortcuts all the damn time. So like, you know, if I wanted to update something on my second keyboard and it's just I'm too busy to fucking spend the time on that shit. And you know, <laughs> I just don't want to do that anymore. So yeah, definitely though, I do appreciate Taryn for like sh uh, showing us how to like use a second keyboard. And like if this thing has been useful, you know, I'm very uh, glad that I learned how to do that. And um, I think most importantly, uh, learning like the importance of using macros. I never really knew anything anything about macros until I watched that video from Taryn. You know, Taryn, if you're watching, I do appreciate you sharing your knowledge. But uh, yeah, like the macro life <laughs> itself, I do appreciate. I'm going to definitely, it has changed my uh, editing uh, process dr dramatically. So I'll put the link in the video so you guys want to check that out. You know, if you want to mess around using the second keyboard and all that. But um, I think for me, I'm just going to stick to my Logitech uh, G13. Uh, one thing I learned about myself as an editor is that um, I don't use that many commands or macros, right? Like, uh, I try to, like, keep my thing, my layout as simple as possible, right? There's a lot you can do, right? But the like, thing is, I try to keep every... I figured if I can, like, shorten down, like, the amount of shortcuts that I can use or the amount of, like, macros that I can create, right? Uh, I just want to simplify my life as much as possible, right? Like, so I, I don't need that much space or that many macro keys, you know? But like, the, but like I said, the main thing that I use for this um, keyboard for is basically numerical values, right? And I'm sure I can just set that up on my, uh, my G, Logitech G13, right? So, yeah. Either way, I'm going to have to, like, move on from this guy. So, Taryn, again, thank you for sharing that. And like, like I said, the main thing I learned is basically the importance of using macros. So, I'm going to stick with that. It's a random vlog video. So, I got upset. So, I figured I might as well share this. <laughs> right? Shit happens. But, you know, move on. All right. That's it. Thanks for watching. Peace.